Hey everyone, welcome back to Shanghai, China. It is Friday, the 31st of January 2020. Um, it's quite early here in the morning. Well, 9 a.m. that's early for me. <laughs> um, because, as you might remember, a couple of days ago, I went to buy some fresh fruit and veggies and found that stocks were not meeting demand. So, um, a lot of people have suggested heading down earlier in the morning to try and grab something. Uh, so, we'll, we'll see what it's like. But first, I want to talk about the big news. Uh, last night, China time, um, the World Health Organization declared the current coronavirus um, outbreak a medical emergency of global importance. Um, what does that mean? Well, I was a bit optimistic to begin with. It sounds scary, but actually, I think it's a good thing. What they'll do is really create some um, guidelines for other countries in dealing with the situation. They said, there's nothing at all to do with what's going on here in China, um, i.e. Uh, the response and the way the government here are dealing with it. They said it's more to do with helping uh, poor and middle uh, GDP countries to cope uh, with the condition if it arrives at their shores, which it already has in more than a dozen countries. So I'm optimistic about what's going to happen. Now last week they said that the situation didn't yet warrant um, the title of a uh, health emergency of global importance and a few people were a bit miffed about that but I did find out that they have done so five times before and all in quite recent history um, including Ebola, uh, the Zika outbreak uh, so it's not unprecedented uh, as for us here in China here in Shanghai uh, the situation is still quiet um, the cases are still slowly rising um, and today I'm working from home so there's still no idea when we're going to head back to work and when things will return to some semblance of normal whatever that is um, so I'm still waiting to see now we're about to head into my local supermarket actually no first let's go get a mask okay we're back here again what seems like the 50th time to buy masks. Okay, things were a little heated in there, as you just heard. Sorry, I couldn't film, and then they asked me what I was doing. So I turned the camera off, but um, the police officer in there said, tomorrow I need to come back again for masks and reserve a number. Only then can I get some masks, which is different from the days prior, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Right. Hopefully the situation's a little bit better in my supermarket today. So it's nine in the morning and everyone has been telling me you need to get to the supermarkets early if you want to get something. They have the stock, but it just goes early. Early bird catches the worm, everyone says. Well, the stock level is even less than what it was two days ago. So clearly the situation hasn't improved much. It may have worsened, at least in this supermarket uh, here near my home. Let's go to the fruit and veggie market and have a look there. Hmm. It's, it's almost exactly the same situation as the other day. It's the same market stores are here selling fruit and vegetables. And we still have no fresh meat. Early in the morning, no fresh meat.
，好吃吗？那个？<笑>有很多骨头嘛？没有骨头。是吗？这个没有骨头。哇！这个骨头还没有骨头。它还在动。它还在动。这个肠量很大。它可以的，可以的，这刀不行。Okay, so I'm heading home. In a similar situation as two days ago, um, but today I'm feeling a little bit, just a little bit worried about the situation here. Probably because tensions were high over there at the drugstore. Um, doesn't make you feel good, but I guess that's just it's just human nature. Maybe the situation is fine, um, and maybe supermarkets in other areas. Are fully stocked, uh, but definitely going down early didn't work. So yeah, it's back home now to do some work, sit around with my cats, and wait to see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll see you guys then.